Philly is raw with DJs. I think each state has their own kind of niche. You know, I think of Chicago when I come here. You know, I love Chicago in the summertime. You know, I think, always think taste. I think food. I think just cold, just grimy. I feel soulful. You know, I always think of that nice sound. You know what I mean? Soul sound. In Philly, it's kind of like, you know, your cheesesteaks, your, your, your pretzels, your water ice, your hugs. You know what I mean? What they call them, quarter waters in New York. And, you know, that adds into the flavor of hip hop there. Um, DJs have a lot of respect. They want to go out and just DJ and not scratch and not talk and really, really think over what they're doing. So, you know, when, when you got that type of discipline, you always going to go up against a Jazzy Jeff. You know what I mean? You're going to go to these different clubs like Fluid and Philo's and you see, um, you know, dudes like Active and, 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 and me if I'm there and Jazzy and, uh, you know, these different cats just going hard. Like, I can't let G <laughs> Jazzy see me like this. I can't let Active see me that I'm, you know, that I'm being a slouch right now and I'm from Philly. It's too much pride out there. You know what I mean? Uh, growing up in Philly was kind of crazy for me because I was young. So by the time it was, you know, I was able to see the Jazzy Jeffs, I was already 19, 20, 21. I'm seeing them in different states. I always heard Cash Money radio wise, mixtape wise, but I never got a chance to really see them in motion to on a tape, you know what I mean? Or, you know, on a video cassette. EST's, uh, the group they had three times dope, had a dope DJ. It was a lot of cats that was out there just going hard, but I never got a chance. I was young. I was 11 years old watching these cats go hard. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, 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 how am I going to get a chance to see them? And I got older. You know, my first time meeting Cash Money, I was like, yo, dog, you don't know what this means to me. I'm a big fan. He was like, no, I'm a big fan of you. And that scared me. And I was like, oh, you know what I mean? So, you know, those type of things, you know, I wished I had got, I got a chance to see. But the people I seen, like Cosmic Kev and, and um, my uncle Keith Boyd was a big DJ. He did a lot of um, a lot of the black positive movements that was growing up in Philly, concerned black men and stuff. He used to do those annual parties. And he was the one who actually taught me how to DJ when I was five. I got a chance to really see them, you know, go hard in the DJ field. You know, they battles and they tricks. So, you know, that's what I got to see. But I ain't get to see Cash Money in them yet. <laughs>